Now I have Grubby from Team EG Evil Genius in the interview here live. And yeah, nice to meet you here on the CBIT 2010. And we're talking about Avalon of Heroes, a game you played a lot the last time, the last month. What do you think about the game? What's so special about it? Well, uh, I think the like if you compare it to Dota, I think it's a little bit easier to learn because uh, after about two days of playing, I could already make the item combinations, uh, which takes me much longer to learn in Dota. And another thing I like is uh, that you can buy items no matter where you are on the map, so you don't get that uh, stressed feeling that you need to go back to the shop, spend time to buy an item, or I don't know, take that chicken in Dota that you got. And uh, you can just stay at the front line and do whatever you want and then shop in the middle. I, I like that. It's more. It's a little bit more dynamic for me. So it's a bit more for the casual gamer, I would say. It's easy to learn, it's easy to play, but in the end you still need skill. So how would you describe the skill you need in Avalon of Heroes? I find that a little bit hard to, uh, to say. Uh, like to compare how much skill you need for Dota or Avalon, like between them. Uh, because I haven't played it at top level. But I think it probably still has the same elements of uh, team play which are important in both games. Uh, but you are right that, yeah, I think it's easier to learn for the casual player and pr probably also for a competitive player. Yeah, you played it here with teammates, uh, not with teammates, but the player you played a lot in Warcraft 3, you played against them. We're talking about the remade Fox players. So, what do you think? Do you think it's a game we could probably see in the eSport too? I think it can still get a lot of improvements, but uh, it could be on its way there. It really depends whether a large amount of people think that it's, uh, it's a good game to play. But uh, it could definitely be, because just take a look at Dota. Now, if they continue to improve themselves, then uh, it, could have, it could have quite a lot of potential. You played this game on the CV 2010 here live. Who is probably the best player at the moment here around? We're talking about probably soccer, about Lin, about Moon, about Blizzard, who's actually a Counter-Strike 1.6 player. Well, uh, I haven't had a chance to study a lot of their games. And as far as I know, there are no replays yet. So I can only speak from personal experience. And uh, well, our team voted Lin as the MVP from the other team because he was level 25, he was pretty badass. But uh, it was just best of one, so I think he's, he's okay, probably. So what's the best hero or the, the hero you like to play most? Is there any special hero who got some special spells who are really fun to play? I thought that uh, Durov guy who was driving a cannon, it was pretty funny, because uh, he, uh, you can place these detonation charges which go off in like six seconds behind the forest and then uh, lure someone past it and when he comes by like his whole world just explodes and uh, it's, it's a pretty funny surprise but for the rest it's pretty shit I think. Well thank you Manuel, one of the best Warcraft players in the world playing Avalon of Heroes.